So what is CDP? CDP stands for Cisco Discovery Protocol. As the name gives it away, it's Cisco proprietary, meaning only Cisco devices speak this protocol. The whole purpose of this protocol is to help discover neighbors. So for example, if I'm a switch and I have other switches and routers plugged into me, when CDP is enabled everywhere, I can see who are the neighbors that are connected to me. Typically, network engineers and consultants use CDP to verify physical connectivity of a network. And I'll give you an example of how that works on a switch CLI in a moment. The way CDP allows discovery to happen is through CDP messages. And these messages are sent across all ports on all routers and switches by default. Another interesting tidbit, Cisco IP phones use CDP to learn both the data and voice VLAN IDs that are configured on that access switch port. And finally, LLDP or Link Layer Discovery Protocol is a competing standard to CDP and is defined in IEEE 802.1AB standard. If you happen to have any non-Cisco switch in your environment, whether Arista, Juniper, or you name it, any other switch, it runs LLDP for the purpose of discovering neighbors. So what you would have to do in that instance is if you have a mixed environment, Cisco and non-Cisco, you should actually run LLDP everywhere instead of running CDP. Because this way, whether you're connected to a Cisco neighbor or a non-Cisco neighbor, you can discover and see what's going on. Now, just by looking at these bullets, it's probably not sinking in much. Let me jump right into the CLI so I can help you crystallize how CDP works. Here I am on switch one. Here's the magic command you wanna know. Show CDP neighbors. On switch one, what I can see by running this command is that I've got three different devices that are plugged into me. And those three devices are, I've got switch two plugged into me, over fast ethernet 0 slash 12. And the capability flag here corresponds to a switch because it's a switch. And the platform is 29, Catalyst 2960. And the remote port ID, the port ID of the remote switch that's plugged in is this. Similarly, S3 right below it, is connected over fast ethernet 0 slash 13. The flag is also S and platform is Catalyst 2960. Remote port happens to also be fast ethernet 0 slash 13. Finally, R1. Our local interface is gigabit ethernet 01. Flag is set to R because it's a router. It's an ISR 4300 router and the remote interface on that router that is pointing toward us is gigabit 000. Now another interesting command that gives us a lot more detail about our neighbors is show CDP neighbors detail. Now one thing I would like to draw your attention to here is that I've got, so here we're looking at router one and I can see the IP address of router one. So that's pretty neat, right? So as you can imagine, if, if I've got other devices plugged in and I'm walking into an environment completely cold as a consultant, I had never worked in this environment before. I have no clue how this environment is set up. By using show CDP on different switches and routers, I can start to map out how the network is set up. I can actually create a diagram with physical connections so I can see how it's all interconnected. In addition, as a bonus, I can also specify the IP addresses of the devices as well. So really, really cool feature. Now I'm gonna warn you, it works wonders when if 
it's a small environment. But the minute you start looking at gigantic global environments, it's not going to work. If you have hundreds of switches or thousands of switches, it's insanity to go to each switch and start mapping things out. You're going to go crazy. Instead, there are other tools that you can use for monitoring purposes and things like that. But at the same time, typically larger networks, the network engineers that manage those environments have really good documentation or they're supposed to have really good documentation. That includes really nice Visio diagrams, some additional documentation that talks about the purpose of each device in the network and things of that nature. Now, if you want to disable CDP on a switch, we type in no CDP run command. And when we do that, this essentially kills CDP on the entire switch, which means we're not going to be able to see our neighbors and vice versa. Our neighbors are not going to be able to see us because the CDP packets, CDP messages, CDP frames have been killed. CDP basically, just so you know, runs at layer two. This disables it at a global level on all the ports. But let's say if, if you didn't want to do that, you would do CDP run. So we enable it again on the switch. But what we can do instead is we could go to a particular port and at the sub interface level, we can do no CDP enable. And what that would do is kill CDP on this interface only. So there are two different ways of doing it. One at a global level with no CDP run, or we could do it at a per interface level by typing in no CDP enable. Now, if you wanted to enable it back on this interface, all you would have to do is just delete that keyword no in front of the command. Just type in CDP enable and boom, it's gonna enable CDP again on FAST01. Now, that being said, if you wanted to set up LLDP on our switch, we can do that by first disabling CDP and by enabling LLDP run. And when we do that, it's gonna enable LLDP on the switch. Now we're gonna to have to type in the same command on all the other switches and routers to make sure we have a standardized environment and we're sending same type of packets and we're able to see each other. So you're gonna to have to go to all the remote devices and do the same thing. I'm not gonna go much into LLDP because it's very similar to CDP. I just wanted you to understand conceptually how that works. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.